Here are three reasons why to subscribe to Fringe Financials on YouTube. Number one, it is free, which is the best price that you can pay for this kind of content. Two, I am completely transparent with all of my investments. And number three, I have a variety of educational videos every single week. Now let's get on with the video. What is up YouTube and welcome back to another Fridge Fernandez video and today I'm going to be introducing a stock market options trading challenge and the goal here is to try to outperform the S&P 500 which is an average return of about 10% give or take plus or minus inflation. So if you're excited for today's video make sure that you smash the button and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. We have just eclipsed 40 subscribers which is absolutely fantastic and the support has been absolutely awesome. So what I want to do today is kind of do a shorter video and break down of what the challenge is, what my goal is, how I'm going to track it, and you guys can come along for the journey. So hopefully I've learned something new even in today's video. And without further ado, let me show you what I'm doing. In my Robinhood account, as you can see right now, we're at $35,000. Again, the market has just closed. It is currently 4.04 p.m. Uh, Friday, so the market is now going to be closed for the weekend. And you can see right now my buying power is at $5,121.44. Now, what I've done up to this point is I've closed down my positions on DraftKings, on XPeng. Um, I think this is those two I have right now. Right now, my Robinhood one is about to be expiring worthless, which is absolutely awesome. So I get to keep a nice $24, which again is about an 8% return in just about two weeks. Which is great. Again, opening it on right before Christmas uh, came around last year. So right now we are looking at about an 8% return. This one is going to close. Uh, it hasn't closed yet. It closes like later on the evening time for whatever reason. Um, probably because of aftermarket hours, I'm guessing. So this one is going to close. It's going to open up an extra $300 of collateral into my position. So I will be having $5,400 in trading power buying power to trade options to try to outperform the s p 500 so what i'm going to be doing on, on this channel um on the youtube on instagram if you haven't already followed me on instagram at fridge financials again we're at 1630 awesome and amazing followers if you've not followed it yet you're missing out on some really cool content as you can see here i'm posting about the new year some new goals um again these are the new goals i'm looking at for here uh so you can take a look a little uh, that's the intel one as well so we'll get a lot of really cool things here but anyways beside the point um i'm gonna be putting a lot of the highlights of my trading on instagram as reels so if you don't feel like watching this whole youtube video about my charting my position opening my closing my thought process you want to just be like fridge what did you trade what did you open up what are the numbers you know Follow me on Instagram at Fridge for Angels, and you'd be more than happy to uh, get an update in about a minute for that one. So, well, for those people who are here and watching this video, looking for those longer term contents and looking at what I'm doing here, um, again, the YouTube channel is where it's at. So, what I have again is I'm at this 5,000. I'm going to give myself basically the starting buying power of $5,400. So, my focus is to take this $5,400 and to outperform the SP 500 historical average was about 10 percent so all that means is that i will have to essentially and again i can show you i always love to go on the calculator you guys have already known if you watched the videos I'm like, I'm so if i had five thousand four hundred dollars i was typing five thousand four hundred dollars and again if i was to outperform if i was to match the s p 500 and everything else i would have to trade and make 540 dollars for the year to be at the s p 500 historical average Obviously, as if 100 could do better, it could do worse. But over the last 100 and something years of tracking the data, $540 is going to be my target goal. Okay. So my goal is to do a lot more than that. You know, I mean, even if I was to make 20% off trading with this money here, I'd be making about $1,080. So I'd be doubling the S&P's historical return. So. What I have is I've cleared out my entire option selling trading platform, as you can see right here. And I have this as a tracker to show you kind of what my trades are looking like, what I'm opening, what I'm closing, and everything else. And as you can see this bottom left hand corner here, I have a starting value, which I'm starting with 5,400 after the Robinhood position closes. Uh, the profit loss that I'm having, so I'm gonna track all the profit losses over here on the right side. Well, my taxes are going to be at the end of the year because obviously with trading short term um options within a within one calendar year you have to pay short-term capital gains tax which is income tax 
And my income tax right now is at 22%. So if I'm doing 22% right here as a calculation. Um, so then this is the percent I made overall. I have net profit and I have net percent. I'm factoring in the um, the taxes because, again, I got to pay the taxes. I got to pay some of this money back at the end of the year. So I'm factoring that in there. So that way, my net percent needs to be higher than 10%. And that, that's what my focus is and to see where we're going to go. So just kind of give an example as to how the spreadsheet would work. Let's just say, for example, I was to open up a trade on DraftKings, which I just closed one out. So let's say I wanted to open one up though, right? So say I wanted to open up a DraftKings position and I go to trade options. Uh, we didn't watch the video on how to trade options. Um, you can watch my previous videos. It's there. Awesome video. I'm biased, of course. And you can look at how I'm trading options and how you do the selling on the buyer. So let's say that I wanted to sell a DraftKings play. Basically, again, not betting for DraftKings goes to below a certain price. And I want to go, say, 28 days out into the next month. So say I want to sell this put here. And this put is going to be... I wouldn't trade it now because um, I had a green day today. I'm going to make another video about the night open positions compared to when I'm going to close them. So let's just say that I was to open this position here and I was to collect, if again, I can't do it now, but let's get $104, 103.97 as my estimated credit after tax or after um, the trading fee and everything else. So if I go to my portfolio here and my portfolio treasure, I would put a DraftKings. Right, ticker symbol is going to be DKNG. So this one is going to be put option. I'm going to track put versus call options. The collateral that I have available is going to be $3,200. Because again, I need to be able to buy the shares just in case. So that's going to be a $3,200 collateral. And my profit that I would make if I was to open this trade would be $103.97 after the fees and everything else. So $103.97. And as you can see right now, the whole spreadsheet fills it. This trade would give me a return of about 3.25% in this one trade. So you can see here, my profit is about $104. Um, I might move this over so we can get the actual calculations. I'll be paying $22.87 of taxes, which means that my percent trade for the $5,400 is about 2%. After taxes, it's $81, or about 1.5%. So if I keep doing these kind of trades, right? Say I have one for DraftKings. Say I do one for XPing, which had a major red day, which is, you know, could be a possible possibility to trade here. Let's say I wanted to do XPing again, do like another, you know, 1,000 or whatever it is. Say I want to open up one for $90, whatever it is, right? So say I wanted to do XPing. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do X, XPing, G. I want to do XPEV. This again, is it going to be a put option? And again, if I own shares, I might just do a call option against anybody else. The collateral for this one would be $1,300, which is going to be my collateral. And then my profit loss on this one is going to be $90. Okay. So that trade will give me a approximation of 6.92% return on this trade right here. Again, it's this much is how much I've made after the collateral total. And as you can see, my total profit I've made is $193.97, give or take. Taxes and taken out is $42. So again, even though the percent is 3.59%, my net profit is 151, and I'm making about 2.8%. So the more and more trades I'm gonna put into here and still in the spreadsheet, these numbers are going to adjust accordingly to factor in for taxes, to factor in for percents and everything else. And again, the goal is to outperform the S&P 500, right? If I did like these kind of trades, you know, 12 times over, I would be making, you know, uh, it would be like $200-ish, $2,400. So you can make $2,400 on a 5400 So you would see that again as this goes on, obviously. But you would be, for example, making, you know, that's 40%. But so, you know, being just keep filling in more and more positions, you can do this over and over and over and over again. And your goal here is to hit over 10% as a historical average. So this is what the video is going to be. Right now I have zero trades open. I have nothing to put in the spreadsheet, but starting on Monday, I will be opening up probably a couple of trades. XPing might be one of them. So be on the lookout for that one. If you want to see my trades, you want to have a live updated time about what I'm doing my trades, you want the highlights of it. Again, follow me on Instagram at Fridge Financials. If you like the longer term content, of course, you can also go to the YouTube channel. 
show you looks like in case you're wondering. This is Fridge Financials right here. 40 awesome subscribers. These views have been absolutely fantastic. Um, so I'm weekly videos posted in here along with other trading content as well. If you made this one in the video, thank you so much for showing all the continued support. Make sure that you smash thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Leave any comments you have down below. Anything you want me to track in this uh, portfolio tracker right here, let me know. I can see if I can make it work. So that way you guys get an overall view about what my trades are doing for the year. I'm excited to smash this goal. Again, our goal is to hit over 10% net percent, not regular percent. So without tax and everything, or with tax and everything else. So I'm hopefully you're excited for the journey as much as I am. I hope you guys are making money in the market. Happy New Year to you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.